I, uh... In that familiar voice, the one you now only hear in reruns, Kevin Spacey delivered an emotional speech after a London jury found him not guilty of nine sexual offense charges. I would like to say that I'm enormously grateful to the jury for having taken the time to examine all of the evidence and all of the facts carefully before they reach their decision. And I am humbled by the outcome today. Four different men accused Spacey of unwanted sexual acts. The prosecution described him as a sexual bully who preyed on younger, powerless men. Spacey countered he was a big flirt who had consensual relationships. If proof beyond a reasonable doubt still continues to be a thing in this day and age and Twitter allegations and anti-social media allegations aren't what determine a verdict, I thought the jury came to a very sensible conclusion. Unlike most other powerful Hollywood figures accused of sexual misconduct, Spacey's accusers were men. In the year 2020, U.S. actor Anthony Rapp alleged Spacey had made sexual advances towards him when Rapp was just 14. In a civil lawsuit, Spacey was found not liable. I think that there is a tendency of people not to believe that um, men, especially gay men, can be sexually assaulted. And this is just one more proof of it. This lawyer who has worked with victims of sexual assault says the new verdict could deter men from coming forward with accusations. You've got a situation here where, where how many men now, 10, something of that nature, uh, weren't believed. So yes, it's going to have a very chilling effect. The impact of the verdict on Kevin Spacey's career is still unclear. In a recent interview with the German magazine, he said there were people lining up to hire him if only he were acquitted. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News. Toronto.